Boy, have I got some great news for you. That's right. You can now control Virtual DJ from Touch Portal. That means a phone or a tablet with Touch Portal Pro installed. There's a new plugin that makes it so easy to connect with Virtual DJ. It's not even funny. It is, it is incredibly simple. Stick around. I'm going to show you how to install it, how to configure it, and then give you some ideas of what it is that you can actually do with it. So let's jump right in. So Touch Portal, you could at one point connect to it with, with, uh, with Virtual DJ if you had the MIDI plugin, for example, or using keyboard hotkeys, but that was really, really complicated. Uh, my boy Chris... Chris, he, he put together this wonderful plugin, and it is so feature rich, but so stupidly easy to use. All right. So, what I'm doing is I'm linking this little blog article in the description of this video, but I put together kind of a, a short walkthrough for you of the requirements that are needed in order to make this whole thing run. First and foremost, you need to have the Touch Portal Pro license, which is about $13 for a lifetime license. You also do need the Virtual DJ Professional license in order for this to work because it requires an extension here that is only available for pro users so let's go and show you real quick what you need to do in order to get this all working uh, so you're logged into virtual dj and then inside of the settings bar go to extensions go to effects go to other and then start typing in network control and then you're going to want to install this. It installs seamlessly behind the scenes, so you don't have to do anything. But that is the piece that helps communicate to the Touch Portal application that uh, Chris has configured together for us and for us to use. All right, so install that. That's step one. Uh, step two is to go to Christoph's website, which uh, right now you just go to download. And you'll notice here that it says assets required. It does mention here you need the network control add-on by Virtual DJ. Uh, but other than that, just download the plugin, and then I'm gonna show you how to add the plugin into Touch Portal. Super easy. Inside of Touch Portal, you just go to this top right cog wheel, go to import plugin, and then select the plugin that you just downloaded from the website. Once that happens, you now have the plugin included inside of your Touch Portal. You may have to restart Touch Portal because sometimes it's funny like that. So on a regular page, in order to make things happen, just click and create a new button. We're going to call this button play and pause, okay? Play, pause. And if you scroll down on the left-hand side, you're going to see the virtual DJ section show up. And it, it's it's really, really, really small. All it is is executing a script. And those who understand virtual DJ know that you can do every single thing inside of virtual DJ through a script. So it's that, that simple. So we're going to execute this script. For this one, we're just going to do play underscore pause and then as always with touch portal make sure that you name your button otherwise it won't show up now we're not gonna do anything pretty with this button we, we might give it a little background here real quick give it a background we'll make it uh we'll make it red and, and you can configure this so much more so much more this is just a quick show you that this does work and whatnot so i'm gonna go to my my screen now on side of my actual touch portal i'm gonna press this play pause button let me bring up virtual dj for you so you can see it in real action so when I hit play, it's going to play. When I hit pause, it's going to pause. Here we go. That's it. That is it. It is it is insanely, insanely easy to use. You can configure as many different scripts as you want. Um, now, one really cool thing you can do with this now, if you're streaming to Twitch or YouTube or to Mixcloud, any of those things that you can interact with Touch Portal, you can now create like, chat loyalty redemptions that directly interact with your software so as another example just just to create another another button here i'm just going to copy this button uh just just to show you off the cuff i haven't really tried this yet but we're going to do this right now we're going to we're going to paste the button and on this we're going to do a search so this is going to go to the search it's going to go to the search thing right it's going to go to the search bar inside of virtual dj so imagine if somebody you're executing an event-based loyalty redemption here it's going to be search and then we're going to do a uh, delay here real quick it's going to wait for a timer let's do uh let's do 500 milliseconds 500 milliseconds and then we're going to do uh text we want we want to input text so write text and we're going to say um i want a song 
and I know that it's going to have the word ghost in it because I don't have many songs in this library, but this is what's going to happen. So we're going to name this one the uh, example. Example. So basically, if somebody were to redeem a point, right, it's going to go to your search bar and whatever they type in chat, whatever you capture as a value inside of Touch Portal during this interaction, it should, it should go to this search bar and type the word ghost. Let's see, I'm going to push the button. So it's just pushing the button. Example. And it typed ghost. Did you see that? Did you see that? Right there. And then every single song that has the word ghost in it should have come out. So yeah, there's there's Ghost Town, there's there's uh, Ghost Strip, and and they show up, which is just think about that. Think about what you could do with this feature for interactivity. You can make the samples go off. You can add backspins. You can add scratches. You could stop a track. You can you could do so many different things with this. It's it's crazy. Um, the one thing that I did do, and it's going to be in my next video, so make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to show you how to use it. I, I actually created a complete scratch bank for, for Virtual DJ. Um, it's all scratch <laughs> DNA stuff. So um, this is the teaser for you. It's a teaser right now of what this thing can do. I have added 50 different scratch DNA samples in here for you to use. Control of the deck plus an additional custom buttons here. I'm going to show you how to download it in my next video. So again, keep on following because this material is just keep on coming. So just an example, when I push number one, we get a little baby scratch. That's right. Two. And this is all from my, my touch portal, which could be from a phone or a tablet. Supports Android, supports um, Apple. Uh, iOS, I guess, is, is the official term. I, I don't do any of that, that Apple stuff. But stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to show you this. And if you guys have any questions or want to see some further examples of how to really make this thing work and shine for you, just let me know in the comments. I'm DJ LaFave. I'm so excited about this. Can't wait to hear from you all. Ow!